and gentlemen, boys and girls, LMJ here, and today is the day. Yes, May 19th. Yeah, the Far Harbor DLC is live. We're actually not in my main uh, Let's Play. I've actually, because I wanted to get a higher level character, I've actually just did a copy of my save for my Twitch guy. We're about level 81. We're about level 81. We've already done the Automatron DLC, Wasteland Workshop, etc. So we'll be saying, not stuff not in our normal playthrough. It has gone live. So actually, we picked up Nick Valentine right now. We're in Sanctuary Hills. Actually, you'll see the quest here. Far from home. You actually gotta remember, you gotta finish at least up to get a clue. Uh, get a clue, you know, tracking down Kellogg. But okay, we're actually gonna go to radio. And Valentine Detective Agency Radio. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Keep setting this to repeat. Okay, so we gotta get to talking to Ellie. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective. And Valentine's going to play a big part in this uh, DLC, so I'll make sure to take him along. I, I He was just here, and then he ran off. Hope that's not foreboding of something. But Alright, let's go set that quest up as well. Where are you set up? Oh, there he is. Okay. He's good to go. I'm not totally 100% prepared for this, but oh, we're just going to make do. I'm actually gotta gotta get to the radiation real quick. There we go. And let's hop on our motorcycle. This is immersive travel mod. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, I'm gonna go down to home plate because actually we gotta hit the Valentine Detective Agency. Oh, and I'm hungry and thirsty. We'll take care of that on the way. Yeah, I've got plenty of food, but I just don't have any water right now. I don't have any water right now. That's the thing. It's like I'm talking with that one kid, but his water is a little expensive. And usually you pick it up for like 20, yeah, 20, 30 caps, so he's about double. I don't like paying for that. Okay, finally we're out. Alright, what time is it anyway? 517. Well, I hope it's not quite quitting time. We'll eat some grilled rag stag and then we'll get some water. Okay, let's head to Valentine Detective Agency. Get this started. I was afraid we'd need Valentine with us. Get your squatter here. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Uh, who's the client? Who's our client? A fisherman, whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you need him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. Daughter and a radio. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Okay, so we picked up the Let's check on the map here. I'm gonna guess that's where they kind of they kind of teased that. Yep, right there. Not too far. I'm gonna try to figure out where's the closest. It's really not too far, actually. Yeah, well, Kingsport Lighthouse. It's not too far from the Kingsport Lighthouse, so I will go out there, and I will meet you guys uh, back out there. 
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are back about 80 clicks off from our next destination. Yeah, we're continuing the quest line for the Far Harbor DLC. Far from home, yeah, we got to travel to the Nanaka Nakano residence. Yeah, actually, that is located just right up here on that side. I did actually just, uh, I went to Kingman's Island, then I went to Kingsport Lighthouse. Then we just hoofed it all the way over here. Alright. Did suck up some water. Whoa. That. I must have killed that earlier. I did think I did kill that earlier. Totally forgot about that. Crikey, that's a big one. Okay, so we're pretty dang close. Don't actually see. Hmm. Let's check out that boat over there, maybe. Maybe it's up over there. I don't know. Got a toxic man over there. Oh, it's all the way on the coast. Ah. For some reason I thought it was... Well, I guess we're going to the edge of the map, I guess. I don't know, that's weird. Oh, what are we doing? We do not have time for that. We'll just try to go up here. Can I go that way? Let's go up the... Up, let's go up this way. Whoa. Not today, thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is definitely having my ghouls. Yeah, we could just leave that glowing one alone, you know. We don't. Uh, Alright. This is definitely a thing now. Okay. Just keep going. Again, keep going around the corner here. Oh, it does look like. Yeah, this is new. I'm already liking this. So I think Meyer looks at any oh there must that must be the house. Okay. You can already see we're uh We're already past the border there. Oh. I'll be. Wow, alright, cool. Not quite the house then. Redwood meat. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Come on, Nick. Looks like a couple buildings. For a boat, would have, presumably, I would think that would take us to uh, the, uh, the DLC. Kind of like Point Lookout. Damn it! Cut in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? What's your story with Nick? So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. 
I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Okay, here to help. Here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away. Oh, from strange weirdos on the internet. Am I right, folks? She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. I can't ask for money. That's... Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. Okay, we'll, we'll find, her. find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Okay, I'm going to ask them first. Mr. Nakano, did you have questions about my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnapped. I know it is kidnapping. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me, anyway. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute you aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl. She doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, the kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter. Okay, we got you. I think I can do it with the radio. Nothing but static. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Yes, I do. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. Looks a little bit like Marcy almost. Why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. No, tell me what's wrong. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. I do have my charisma, like, it's way maxed that. out. We've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Let's ask about, about a road radio. I don't think we're gonna learn anything new. Sumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective.
Okay, I think that's what we're going to learn for now. Let's just look around the house. You never know. Ooh, Kasumi's Project's Kitchen. Project Log Kitchen Mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I can come you with you. Okay, next project, lamp. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals what? I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me moving. Okay. Let's see thing up in there. It's gotta be... Kasumi's room. That's a really run down bathroom. This is Kasumi's room. Let's see if she left any clues about where she went. Did she leave duct tape though? Oh, she did leave duct tape. Oh, gotta get something to drink. I did pick up a little bit extra water from Diamond City off camera. I just want to have to stop unless we really needed to. Oh, this might shed a little more light with the radio. Project log? Radio. Correction. Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Oh, another... Dreams. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. I can't seem to see anything else in this room. Oh, let pull a cherry though. Can I maybe? Let's take a look around. Yeah, we kind of already did, Nick. I don't know if we're going to find anything else. Let's get the boathouse. That's what I thought. Half a notion to actually just go out there anyway before I just want to explore new stuff. Uh, it's been the first big DLC new expansion. I kind of want to go check with these boats first, then we'll get back to it. Uh, nothing really in these boats, okay. More duct tape. Bottle caps. I shouldn't be looting right now, but I can't, I can't help it. It's just, it's in my blood now. Grandfather's note. Dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then answer here is is in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. 
or I could be expert, and I could just pick it. Even though I think I just figured that one out. I thought there was... I was thinking it was the... Yep. Thank you. Yeah, let's see what's in the safe. Ooh, more duct tape. To find a hollow tape. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but. God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. Up north? A group wow. Of people up there. They say they're all synth. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are. This is weird because I'm actually, uh, in this playthrough, I am uh, directing the Institute now. They started asking about me and the questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off. Like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then... There are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go. To meet these things. Oh, she's... I have to know the truth about She's this. not a synth. Oh my god. They told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. Far Harbor. I can make my Catchphrase. Way. Alright, let's go. The plot thickens. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I'm gonna ask an important question. Are you sure? Your daughter is human. What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood. Well, I mean, she could have been inducted later. That's how synths work, Mrs. Nakano. They replace people. This could have happened. We'll not mention that we're in charge. She's not a synth. This is what okay. I'm afraid of. Someone twisted my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. That's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took... Oh, now we're hungry. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long, talking about the air being bad. Okay, I'll take I'll it. Get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we. Then we get about 300 caps. Okay, now we're actually... Oh, tell the Institute about the Sith Refuge. Oh, actually, we're gonna go check that out. We are part of the Sith... We are part of the Institute, so... I'm gonna go pop on there, and then we'll be... I'll be back at the Institute.
Hey gang, we're inside the Institute. I got a little optional quest in Far Harbor. It's actually, we're gonna go tell them about the refugee uh, sense there. Build their own little colony. Ma'am Director, I feel like that's kind of uh, something we're about. I actually gotta eat something real quick here, though. A few bodies. Get some rather clean steak. Oh. I have several projects going right now, but one more should don't remember you working here, but mostly. I need to talk to someone about a situation I'm going through. Pleasure to meet you. William Mosley, Advanced Systems. I'm happy to help in whatever capacity I can. I hope I don't disappoint. What's your story, William? Me? Oh, uh, I've been acting as a sort of uh, liaison between Advanced Systems and the SRB for a few years now. Doctors Lee and Ao didn't really get along, as I'm sure you can imagine. It worked better if someone could sort of bridge the gap. Anyway, I'm just here, trying to do my part. I'm tracking a woman named Kasumi who believes she's a synth. Kasumi? Not one of ours, clearly. Perhaps a defective unit who's been reprogrammed by someone? If you're already actively working on this, would you mind following up on it? I'd be interested to hear if anything turns up. Okay, I actually want to talk to you. Do you, uh, I was going to ask to tell him about the colony. Was that it? Okay, well, alright, we'll pop back on that. Okay, gang, we're back by the Nakano residence once again. We're going to set off, uh, actually going down to Far Harbor. We've got a couple cats. Yeah, we're on the boat. Yeah, we, we just got into the Institute. They were like, ah, keep a surprise, but okay. Let's get in. Alright. Going into the DLC. Travel to Far Harbor. Oh my god, is the boat actually moving? <gasps> Who's piloting the boat? Oh dear god. This is probably the most awesome thing I've ever seen. And we forgot Nick. Oh crap. I'll come back for you, Nick. Uh oh. That. That did not bode well. Oh. Okay, alright. Well, boat's still going. A little bit of a load screen for Far Harbor. Oh, Nick's gonna pop back, otherwise it might be in a little bit of trouble. Look oh, got a red rocket. This boat goes automatically by itself. Oh, I want to see him hostile. What's that music? Talk to the welcoming party. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We and we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. And I'm sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. And, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh... What's your business here? What is this Far Harbor? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? I'm looking for Kasumi. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Um. Don't fall off. We do. We might not be able to rescue you inside. Something's coming through the fog. All right. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's something. Oh, what? Oh my god, what is that? Gophers! Like giant lizard men. Okay. Let's get down into it. A Marlock Hunter, too. Whoa! A legendary Gopher! Oh, okay. Oh, crushed.